Hey guys, this is Vivi here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So, how would you feel like using something real for Skeleton 2 today? Let's find out. This box came to me like this, like already be crushed, squeezed already. The game gun is pretty well made, I'll say. It's made of plastic, but the touching is quite nice. The edges are rounded, not sharp, not rough, and it got some details. The soft pad for holding, some soft pads for the Joy-Con slot, so the Joy-Con won't slide or be scratched. Because it's just a special shape holder, so it won't help you with the aiming or anything because it doesn't have any electronic parts, so you can use it for any games. But because it's in gun shape, so it's better you use it for first player shooting games. Not only for Splatoon 2, it's also good for Fortnite or PUBG. Because it's so easy to set up and we're all set now, I think we are ready to go. Well, before we go into the wild world, let's do some weapon testing first because we need to get used to know how this gear works. I don't want to be the guy who is holding the team back. So um, yeah, let's get to understand how this works. All right, let's do it. Um, where are the buttons? Okay. Oh, I have a box. What is that? Let's wear it first. Um, it's not feeling too bad right now. Let's change on that clothes first. Uh, okay, so let's find some weapons. Um, let's find any like regular gun, I'll say. Let's find the most basic one. The Splattershot Junior. Let's go Y test. Why is this? Oh, <laughs> all right, test. Um, because it has this little trigger part, um, it, it bothers me a little bit. <laughs> All right, so let's use Y to come back. It got that little feeling. Um, not perfect, but what? Which one is to ink? Oh, oh no! Where's my ink? Okay, okay, ah, uh, okay. Suddenly, I don't know what buttons for what. Okay. Okay, bag. Hey, where is that? Um. So, the aiming. I I can I can get the feeling that the aiming is in the middle, right? Sense about the gun and motion control, but I still need to use the right button to control the camera a little bit. Oh, maybe because I didn't set the sensitivity of my motion control to very high. So you see, uh, if I'm moving left and right, it's I already moved to this left, but the my screen is not moving to that left. So uh, let's change the settings at where um, control settings let's turn it like to real high like three see how it feels maybe it feels a little more like um still can catch it i feel like it's maybe too much uh, um, I still need to use need to use the right stick to see <laughs> to get where is the aiming. Okay, um, this, I don't feel it works. All right, let's uh, go maybe even higher. Uh, go back to the middle first, and all right, let's change the charger. Charger, where is it? My charger. 
Oh, it's gonna be bad. Sorry. I'm already feeling sorry for my teammates. Okay, let's use the cancer. Uh, I think I have, yeah, the hero. All right, uh, let's change back to the very easy weapon we can use first and then we can go into the wild world. Oh, what's that? I'm dead. We're just having the squeak party. Am I just bad or just because I'm using this gun? I want to win! Alright! Ah! I got double kill! Give me the triple! Give me the triple! Oh. Oh, I'm good! <laughs> I think just because we are like hanging out here. Oh no. I think let's go some easy one like the arrow spray. I, I feel like I wanna do with it like the rifle or charger, the sniper, but it, it tells me that I'm just holding an arrow spray. Um, let's do it. Um, what about this for ink? I feel like when I'm getting a little used to it, it's not feeling too bad. I'm ready to. Oh, got a kill! It's got double kill! Okay, not bad. Teamwork, that's called teamwork. I don't feel it's a big difference when I use this gear to play Splatoon 2. It doesn't feel a big difference. It's just like holding the Joy-Con in a very weird, unusual gesture. All right. for my teammates. Okay, let's uh, ch change another... Uh, uh, let's change to some like splatter scope. I don't feel like my aiming like this helped anything. I can see you there! Oh, I got a kill! I got a kill! Not by my charger, but I got a kill! Okay, let's uh, use a roller. Dynamo? Uh, <laughs> maybe no. Let's go some easy one. Yeah, like the Frieza. What is the winning poster for? The shotgun. Couldn't remember. Like this? Because we didn't win anything. <laughs> I'm just practicing.
I think it's time for us to go back to our sweet home. Wow, it's truly so fun to play with this gear. Although we lost all the battles, um, but to be fair, I am not good at use some of the weapons I choose for the testing, and I am getting used to this gear. Um, it just needs some time to be familiar with it. All right, so let's talk about how do I feel about this accessory, this game gun. It is not a tech product. It doesn't have any electronic parts in it, although it feels pretty nice and give you that feeling that you're holding the gun, but it's not um, as real as what you can get from the VR thing because this is based on the motion control from the Joy Kong. It's the different theory with the VR thing. VR is like it's tracking where the controller will be so it's more real and you are standing in the thing because you're wearing the headset and you have the controller so it's a totally different feeling. This made me thought of a game I played when I was a kid that uh, that is the dog hunt game which you will have a game gun that you need to point to the TV and shoot. That game is pretty fun and it's a very special experience. This thing is not tracking that well, but if like a small movement or you are doing the movement while you are like moving your right stick, um, it gave you this kind of sense that it can follow very precisely with um, this gun. <laughs> but it's just not very precisely and it's not like automatically will follow that. It's just a very strange feeling and I was trying to change the motion sensitivities and it just needs some balance but I don't know if I'm going to use it for the normal gameplay um, because it's just <laughs> a little weird <laughs> to hold like that but for some demonstration or for some fun party or something I might use it to show off. Um, I think it might be a very good gift. Uh, I found this on wish.com. I was a little I don't know why I was a little interested in Wish, so I was digging something on Wish.com and I found the thing and I bought it. On the website, it said the original price is $169. We know that it couldn't be real uh, because after sale, the price is $13. US Plus, you need to pay some shipping fee. To me, I paid $5 shipping fee. I thought it could be a very good deal and I didn't think twice about it because Wish is very famous of selling things with a very low price. It took me 20 days for it to ship to me. But as I said, it's arriving by August 20th and it arrived way early than that and I was so happy. But I remember someone comment on my retro gaming phone case review video. He said that you can check on Amazon, you can get your phone case like only $20. Um, what I got for that phone case is $35 and that is already like after sale. So I searched on Amazon and yes, you can find it. You just can find everything on Amazon with a very similar price. I think I read the news that Amazon is open for some small business and international business. So this might be something that is from China. So even though you order it from Amazon, it might just ship from China and also will take maybe two weeks up to 20 days or a month. Depends on how soon we can get through the custom and for the sea shipping. By the way, because the game gun is made in China for sure, so I searched on Taobao, which is like the Amazon in China, to check out the price. With no surprise, I found the same thing, even the same brand, but with a much lower price. Converted to the US dollar is only $5. But consider if you want to buy it from China and have it shipped to you, there will be some shipping fees and take some time. The final price might be a little cheaper, but it won't save you too much. If you really want to buy the game gun, I suggest just go for Amazon. And there is a chance that they might have it in stock in your country, so you might be able to receive it soon. I still cannot believe that there are no more Splatfest for Splatoon 2. Uh, it just makes me feel that it's the end of this game. But 
still the game is going on the turf wall the rank the octo expansion and there are so many things that i want to do with this game it's this game still feel very fresh to me i don't know why um this plot has only lasted for a year i think um, I saw people's reaction to uh, the final Splatfest, the more response is like Thank you so much for your hard work, thank you so much for bringing this awesome game to us And it's not the end, it's just the beginning um, So it's just <laughs> this very warm words to uh, the creators of Splatoon 2 just make me feel even more sad I don't know why maybe because I feel that the end it is so early so soon uh, and there's no clue that we are having some other awesome party soon in the future so we're feeling sad um, also because this game means a lot to me I started my channel by playing this game and this game has been through some of my very hard days and I am moving on right now um, so no matter how many more new games coming up I am still willing to go back to Splatoon 2 uh, this game just bring me lots of happiness and lots of joy and just make me forget about the time and forget about all the stress and just having fun and enjoying the cooperation and just Splatting. So please tell me if you have any clue that maybe Splatoon 3 is coming up or is there any other event coming up soon for Splatoon 2 or is there any other ideas or things I can do to tribute to Splatoon 2 or any other interesting idea or accessories or things I can do to have fun um, related to this game so please comment below tell me about it i'd love to consider to try it out all right i think that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in my future videos and let's go spotting